Hello there and welcome to the new channel. Here to help you see the new you. My name is Carmine Ortega. Dennis Calamba. This is Nato Agbayani. My name is Juan Lu. I'm Chino. I'm Trisha. This is Apple Manansada. This is attorney Carly Banya. This is attorney Sheila Sindiaga. This is Angie. This is Argamid. My name is Dante Salama. This is Jesse Francis Repostillo. I'm Dania Cunha. Mon Mendoza. I am Mapa Erhina. I'm Leo Bryan. Mike. Nice will be here. This is Al Ian Barcelona. This is Marvin Salazar. This is Sunny Haldons. Heidi Lumainos. This is Ivan Jude. Patrick Hieronimo. Alan Paris. My name is Erwin Ursua. Mine is Bob. My name is Lloyd Luna and this is... Future. The Talk. Family Business. The Puppet Stories. After Shift. PNC Town Hall. Yolo. Marketplace. The Home Buyer. HR Hotline. Danny Art Show. Healthline. Foreign Affairs. Moving Stories. Story. Awesome Day Show. Thank you. Money and More. Cybernet. Women at Work. Win with for project the big picture sometimes life lets you down and you feel that you are done you just want a morning run because the fun is so gone but sometimes life makes you proud when you look far and wide when you leave the pain behind See the brighter side. TNC gives you inspiration. TNC reignites your passion. TNC starts your transformation. TNC helps you see the new. Something bad You just wanna cry and hide And save your face from the crowd But sometimes that makes you see The beauty in you and me When you look up above There is God and there is love TNC gives you inspiration TNC reunites your passion Transformation TNC Helps you see the new We're here to help you see The newness of life We're here to help you feel Your hope is your real You've got the power to see We'll help you see The new you TNC Gives you inspiration The New Channel The New Channel The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there and welcome to TNC. We are here to help you see the new you. My name is Lloyd Luna and welcome to the Season 11 World Premiere of the big picture.
Jose, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and Metro Manila, wherever you're watching from around the world. Good evening to you all. This is a very exciting night because finally, after two weeks, I'm back. <laughs> and yes, ladies and gentlemen, I missed you too. <laughs> I would like to thank our guests for the last uh, uh, few uh, episodes of the big picture during the first uh, uh, the season 10 i would like to really really acknowledge you for supporting our show ever since we started on april 25 we now have completed 10 seasons 180 episodes that you are seeing on your screen right now in one picture maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at sa patuloy na pagsuporta Dito po sa The Big Picture on TNC. I am very happy and very excited to be back because this will be the season 11. I don't know what in what's in store in uh, uh, season 11, but I'm just really happy and excited to be back for another 18-episode season this year. I'm just excited. Uh, please do watch us live on youtube.com slash TNC now. And if you're going to watch us on youtube.com slash TNC now, you can have an opportunity to get a gift courtesy of Unisol and TNC. What's the item that you can probably take home or take away? Watch the clip. that's washable face mask worth 800 pesos courtesy of Unisol and TNC. Kung kayo po yung manonood, magka-comment sa youtube.com slash TNC now at kayo po yung mapili naming mapalad, maswerte na nanonood for tonight. Definitely, you're going to have that item. And if you're living within Metro Manila, delivery charge is on us. If you're watching us live right now, please do share our live stream link. You can also organize your own watch party so that your friends, families, and associates can watch the same inspirational show that we give you each night so again this is nothing but you know uh, a venue for you to get some inspiration from and uh, tonight is no different because uh, we have an interest we're going to have an interesting discussion uh healthcare uh, maritime industry and the powerful woman <laughs> let's see kapag agree siya mamaya um and th th this is really for for us to, to understand you know uh, the business and the industry as we recover from the pandemic i think we are now uh really getting ready uh opportunity for us to recover and get back on track so wh whatever the, the the business sector is doing is something that probably we can get some some hope from no? tayo po ay babawi na at ito po yung panahon ng pagbawi 2021 i'm sure maraming uh, maraming naka nakaabang nakaantabay na uh, dito sa atin. So again, keep sharing our live stream uh, link so that your friends, families and associates can watch the same show, no? Hindi po bawal mag-comment. Pwede rin kayong mag-comment. Uh, pwede rin kayong magbigay ng suggestion, pwede rin kayong magtanong at magpa-shout out kung kayo po ay may isa shout out. Ngayon, kung kayo po ay walang isa shout out dahil wala kayong date ng Valentine's, ayun, uh, hindi ko namin gagawa ng paraan niyan, no? <laughs> Marami salamat sa ma Maria Joji Sinoli Lopez is watching along with Nikolai Kasama. Si Darshan is already here on our stream along with uh, Mavic, Joey, and uh, Carlos Orihino. Maraming salamat ulit sa pagtutok sa in dito sa amin sa the new channel. Okay, now, it's interesting. I'm going to introduce uh, briefly the, the company that is represented tonight by our guest. Uh, WMOC Group of Companies is composed of WMOC Documentation Services and W. MOC Medical and Diagnostic Clinic. Now, WMOC, also known as Worldwide Maritime Operations Companies, companies, <laughs> was established in September 2008, maintaining a uh, or the most comprehensive process and outstandingly reliable services as our value proposition, their value pro proposition for all their clients. Now. The WMOC team is composed of competent employees with an excellent background who are also experienced and dedicated to their field uh, of work. Besides, they are exceptional knowledge in terms of international regulations, conventions, and legislations, providing excellent services in terms of what? Napakadami. Facilitating necessary documents. That's very important. Maritime provides um, licenses and endorsements for all seafarers. Na mamaya, di-discuss natin kung kumusta na ba sila at paano ba yung proseso kasi meron pa rin mga 
mga territories na naka-lockdown ngayon or may mga strict uh, quarantine protocols pa din. So tingnan natin kung paano yan. Now, kanila pong wini-welcome, syempre, uh, sa WMOC, Medical Diagnostic Clinic, established in 2020 in the midst of pandemic. Can you believe it? Sabi sa inyo eh, kahit meron tayong pandemic or crisis, there's always an opportunity and it's up to us lang kung paano tayo makaka- uh, kita ng opportunity at paano natin i-maximize or i-discover really opportunity. So, I'm going to introduce our guest uh, representing the WMOC group of companies is uh, Rachel Bataclan Orkisa. Siya po ang president ng WMOC. Maraming salamat and uh, welcome to the big picture, Ma'am Rachel. Good evening, Sir Lloyd. Good evening to all our viewers right now who's watching. Okay. Thank you for, for having us. It's a Maraming pleasure. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Kasi wala kami ibang tamang tao na may invite para dito sa topic na ito. And I'm sure you have a lot of experiences. Uh, you have a lot of stories to tell us. So tell us exactly how you feel right now. We are in the second month of 2021 after a uh, super devastating year of 2020. How have you been? Actually, um, firstly, no, talagang it's very... Talaga nakakalungkot, Sir Lloyd. Ang nangyari sa atin for the past year of 2000, last leg of 2020, no? But um, parati nating iisipin, tayo mga Pilipino, mga fighter talaga tayo, eh. So talagang on the brighter side, at least now we are managing to recover in, in such a way na meron na tayong prevention, meron na tayong uh, vaccine na parating. At the same time, during those times, no, nasabi mo nga kanina na eh, ito pandemic na to, it's not um, uh, closing of doors. Eh. Nandun pa rin tayo sa, sa point na kailangan mag-innovate tayo. For us, sa WMOC, um, one of our advocacy kasi for the past years talaga, when I started this uh, uh, company, talagang is to help uh, Filipino seafarers. As all we know, di ba, number one provider tayo ng mga uh, marino worldwide. No. Number diba? one yan. Sinabi nga si Fairer. Yes. Sabi si Fairer. Talagang hindi matatawaran ang ang kalidad ng isang Filipino seafarers. So tayo bilang mga bilang Pilipino, ako sa dami na na-experience ko for almost 16 years of being in the business of in shipping, nakita ko kung paano natin pwedeng makatulong in, in kahit sa maliit na paraan na makatulong tayo sa mga kababayan nating seafarers. But uh, 2020 presented a different picture of how maritime industry is. And regardless if you are in this business for the longest time, 2020 was a challenging year. How how do you paint 2020 dito sa industry ninyo, particularly dito sa WMO, sir, dito sa company ninyo, sa maritime? Actually, 2020 talaga, the start of um, pagpasok ng April, when we started the total lockdown in NCR, uh, last March uh, 14, if I'm not mistaken, ano, uh, talagang grabe ang impact. Not only uh, in the maritime industry, no, um, lahat magsimula sa pagde-dispatch sa manning industry, pagde-dispatch ng mga seafarers sa amin, particularly because we are the one who's providing and um, facilitating ang documents ng mga marino for Panama, Marshall Island. So, apektadong-apektado kami for almost three months, Sir Lloyd. Walang galawan ng barko. Walang galawan ng tao. Talagang... My goodness. Kami... And dito, dito sa industry-wide, kapag walang galawan ng barko, definitely nagsusunod tayo ng pera dito. No? I mean, we are providing for our people regardless. Of course. No? Hindi kami huminto doon. Siyempre, isa sa mga ano sa mga responsibilidad bilang owner ng isang kumpanya is to take care of your people. Kailangan kanila, di ba? Ang iisipin mo dito sila eh. Kasi pamilya, pamilya kayo. Here in our company, we treat everyone as a family. So, yun pa lang eh. Kailangan mo talaga silang suportan. Awa naman ng Diyos Sir Lloyd. Talagang God is good. Even though um, we have struggles talaga, 
we managed to ano be be on the average talaga na bigla kaming nag uh, naglaunch ng isang baby company namin we call it baby company which is the WMOC uh, medical and diagnostic Hindi uh, po siya baby company na pang baby, ano? Uh, baby hindi company. naman. <laughs> pang marino. And every, every, everybody, no? Yeah. Na talaga, um, uh, because of our clients din. Uh, now, before we talk about even that, uh, that baby, how did you end up dito sa maritime industry? I think this is a male-dominated industry. I mean, not to disrespect the women, but you are one of a few, I guess, na nandito sa industry na ito. How did you end up? Uh, uh, being here in this industry? Yeah, actually, marami nagtatanong sa akin yan. Uh, way back 2005, I started working in a um, uh, company which is based in Washington, D.C. So, I started there as um, uh, sales for uh, getting uh, transactions for onboard security. Yung mga sumasampang um, mga security on board, armed security on board, di ba nakakaano, no? Sobrang interesting. Talagang at first, wala akong experience. I don't know uh, shipping. Uh, I was um, in sales for like 10 years. So, alam ko lang magbenta. But, ewan ko, talagang siguro na napadpad ako dun sa, ano na yon sa, sa uh, way of life na yon na Napunta ko, which is very challenging for me because I know for a fact na, di ba, uh, yung mga uh, kailangan mo ng ano, um, at least force na related sa maritime para maging successful ka dito. But I was very lucky and I was very proud of myself na talagang I went there with flying colors talaga na I was able to, to uh, learn the in and outs. Mm-hmm. Very, no, it, yeah. Yeah. I understand syempre meron kang challenges when you started it, especially yung sinasabi natin na parang hindi nga sa iyo. Pero were you invited? Did someone inspire you to start this or it was just like a uh you wreck a moment moment sa iyo isang araw na parang pumasok na lang sa isip mo, why not do this? How did it come about actually, really? Actually no, actually siguro matindi yung pangangailangan ko during that time eh. Kasi I'm a single mom of four wonderful kids, no? Talaga, so in short, in short, wala sa pagpipilian. Sige ma'am, ikwento wala, natin. Wala talaga. Well, kumbaga wala akong choice. Because I'm a single mom of four wonderful kids. And talagang, um, siguro talagang ito na yung ano, ito na yun eh. Parang last card ko na yun. And nakakatuwa kasi I was in abroad. Then when I went here, syempre, parang, Anong gagawin ko dito? So, I was very lucky naman na one of my major clients, which is a Japanese um, uh, Japanese uh, company, na talagang they trusted me to handle their, ano, their onboard security uh, requirements. So, ang sabi ko, sige, uh, ako ang mag-handle. Talagang pinag-aralan ko kung paano. And... Talagang with God, ano, guidance talaga. I was very, very uh, happy na natuloy. Kasi akala ko hindi eh. Kasi kung hindi, babalik ako ng abroad eh. Kailangan kong bumalik. Kasi paano ko buhay ang mga anak ko, di ba? When I started, talagang sobrang hirap. Mahirap. But uh, a lot of learnings talaga. Para, para maging ano, one, of, ano, one of the group ka. I remember one time I attended um, one of the biggest convention in Singapore for anti-piracy. When I went inside the ballroom, nagulat silang lahat. Sabi sa akin ng isang owner ng isang security agency na which is based in um, Malta. Uh, sinabi niya sa akin, I think you you uh, went to you you went to a uh, wrong uh, ballroom, sabi niya. Sabi ko, no, I belong here. Because I am the only women inside that convention. So, isa sa mga challenge, isa sa mga challenge yun, tama, conventional wisdom yun eh. 
conventional yeah. language. Oh, oh. And that's how that's the original convention, di ba? Hindi siya Philippines lang. Was no, it Asia? no. Asia? That every yearly they um they have this ano uh, convention about piracy, anti-piracy. Mm-hmm. So sobrang ano sobrang sobrang una nakaka nakakatakot but alam mo nung lumabas ako ng ballroom I was you know nangingiti ako na kahit babae kayang-kaya ang mga babae kayang-kayang gawin ng kayang gawin ng lalaki di ba Sino ba kasi talaga Sino ba kasi talaga nagsabi na yung ginagawa ng lalaki hindi kaya ng babae I mean for sure hindi kami pwedeng mga anak So isa 'yun sa <laughs> isa 'yun isa 'yun sa mga ad- uh, advantage namin Yeah, and aside from that, wala na. I mean, kaya ang gawin. But that that was some sort of um, parang ano no? Uh, you mean challenge sa gender talaga ngayon? No? But uh, wala bang or meron bang time sa buhay niyo when you were starting? Like because of those challenges, one of which is yung discrimination sa gender. Was it ever a time in your starting years that you almost quit because you said na siguro mahirap dito or talagang when the Japanese company Uh, trusted you talagang dire-diretso na yun. Never look back. Actually, hindi ano eh, hindi yung uh, yung moment na magkukwit ka. There are a lot of times na talagang sobrang stressful kasi very crucial yung role ko as a um, owner. It's a one-man show eh. I have, I'm the, I'm the owner. I'm the one who's coordinating with the vessel. At the same time, lahat ng coordinations dumadaan sa akin. So, very hands-on ako. Very crucial in a sense na buhay ang iniingatan natin dito at saka asset ng barko. So, there were a lot of times na talagang um, sometimes naiisip ko na ang hirap. Umiiyak na ako na talagang five five phones and then one satellite phone na sabay-sabay nagre-ring pag may problema sa puerto. Pero ang tinitignan ko kasi during the time is talagang, alam mo, pag ina ka talaga, uh, pag tinitignan ko yung mga anak ko, talagang hindi kaya ko to. Kung kaya ng iba, kaya ko. Ganun yeah, ka, me, strong talaga yung me, Facebook. Ang nakikita mo yung anak mo, give me five more phones. <laughs> yes, oo. Actually, mahirap. Mahirap talaga kasi wala. Especially but if we have a transit before, It's like 24 hours gising ako. Parang ano, bathroom breaks lang talaga ang ano ko, ang pahinga ko. Mm-hmm. Especially pagka on board na yung mga tao namin and cruising na sila ng high risk area. So medyo ano kami, medyo kailangan ano ka, alerto ka talaga. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for how many years naman when I started the security thing, I was so blessed na wala kaming mga encounters and My my team is very very good. Talagang especially mga Filipinos yan. Talagang proud to see talaga. Wala ako naging problema. Walang naging problema ang mga clients namin before. Wow, and uh, considering na yung sinasabi na mali yung room na pinasukan mo, <laughs> ikaw yeah. ay mali mis na record. Mukhang siya yung mali yata na room na napasukan. <laughs> yeah, feeling ko lang din. <laughs> <laughs> Or hindi mo na-confirm. <laughs> feeling ko lang din kasi wala na siya sa industry, di ba? At least ako kaya <laughs> na nandito pa ako. <laughs> Let, let's read some comments uh, in our stream live. They're commenting here. Uh, direct maybe you can show si uh, Free Days watching from Calamba, Laguna. Maraming salamat sa palanood. Yan. Sino pa yung mga nagka-comment sa atin dyan? Hi daw, sabi ni Gab. I don't know if you are familiar with the, the people that are watching and commenting here. Uh, si Gab Chong is saying hi. Uh, sino pa yung mga nandiyan sa atin? Oh, hi, Ma'am Rachel. Si yeah. Mavi. Seaway. Yeah. Oh, Kaling sa Seaway. Yan. Sino pa? Meron pa dyan? Yan. Sabi ni Grace. Hello po, Ma'am Rachel. Good evening to WMOC family. Ayan, sige. Meron pa? Meron pa. Sabi ni Girlie, may God bless you po even more. Okay, ma'am, meron akong question, pero mamaya ako itatanong sa'yo. Meantime, I'm going to pause for a short commercial, and then when we come back, ituloy natin inspirational discussion. And let's get to know the BB na sinasabi ninyo, because, you know, seemingly, if you're in a pandemic, parang karamihan ng mindset is you cannot start something, and yet you did. We're going to talk about the baby when the big picture on TNC returns. So don't go away in our stream. We will be right back.
Welcome back. You're still watching The Big Picture, season 11, world premiere of The Big Picture on TNC. Before I call in back to the studio, our guest again for tonight, I would like to invite you to watch our other inspirational shows on TNC. Of course, syempre hindi mawala ang ating The Big Picture. Andiyan na ba? Wala pa yung picture. <laughs> Dahil hindi ko kita yung picture, saan ko babasahin? <laughs> Yan. Uh, the U-turn. Ito yung mga Mondays, ha? Nandiyan yan, sa, sa row na yan. You turn the talk, awesome day, the home buyer, puppet stories, of course, the big picture, and the millennial voice, okay? Tuesdays, foreign affairs, HR hotline, well home, uplift, uh, market leader, mental shift, and money and more, okay? Wednesdays, uh, cybernex, health line, uh, couple goals after a shift, YOLO, Thursday night, or Friday, Tech You, and Friday, then is TNC Marketplace. Saka Saturday, then. Danny Art Show, ito na yung uh, Fridays, no? Fridays and Saturdays. Danny Art Show, Women at Work, COVID Stories, The Family Business, Usapang Beauty, The Four Project, Win Within, and then Saturdays, Town Hall, Saka, One Day, and many other uh, special screening na ginagawa namin dito sa TNC. So hopefully you can watch and really enjoy the inspirational shows. We have just uh, produced uh, close to 850 episodes as we speak, live ito. Simula nag-start kami na May 15. So hopefully talagang supportahan nyo kami because we are growing. And I would like to thank again the, those who supported The Big Picture and TNC all those months, especially during the pandemic na tinayo namin yung TNC at saka sinimula namin yung big picture. So maraming salamat. We promise you that we are going to uh, continue give, to give you more inspirational episodes and shows, iba't ibang genre, iba't ibang uh, topics and uh, expertise. So dyan lang kayo lagi at lagi kayo manood ng mga programs namin dito sa TNC. And to continue our discussion is uh, Rachel Bataclan Orkisa. She's president of WNOC Group of Companies. Okay. Now, sinasabi nila na pandemic, uh, challenging. Sabi mo nga, three months, nakatigil ang mga barko. Definitely, we are burning um, some of our resources to support our people. Tell us something about this baby. Actually, um, hindi lang ako yung talagang, kumbaga, parang author niyang uh, baby, new baby ng WMOC. I have a fiancé. Um, he went uh, back to Manila last March. And then, inabutan ng lockdown. So, sabi ko, anong gagawin ko? I was, I was very, uh, ano na talaga, hindi ko na alam ang gagawin ko para sa mga tao. So, luckily, syempre, even though na naka-lockdown, talagang work, work from home talaga kami. Lahat ng, ano, I was very lucky to have very, very good people, no? Talagang nandiyan sila from the very start to support the company. So kahit nasa bahay kami, talagang uh, nagtatrabaho. So naisip namin, ano ba yung pwede namin i-offer? Una nag-offer kami, Sir Lloyd, ng mga uh, safety bags, yung uh, PPE, ganyan, yung mga, yun, yun yung muna yung naiano namin kasi hindi namin alam kung saan kami magsisimula para lang gumalaw at least kahit pa paano may pumapasok na income. So then one of my clients called me one time na sabi niya, Rachel, we're having problems na. Hindi kami makapag um, paalis kasi sobrang ano eh, syempre hindi naman tayo na-practice kung paano gagawin natin during those three months na talagang naka-lockdown tayo. But a lot of repatriation na dumarating ang mga Filipino seafarers and then yung iba na kailangan talaga na very urgent na paalisin. So yung ganong scenario, nag-require ngayon, di ba, na ang mga government natin na kailangan may RT-PCR test nila, which is the uh, uh, swab test. So sabi niya, baka may marirefer ka. So sabi ko, Ah, oh, sige. Since I was very lucky, I have uh, a lot of friends from the healthcare industry. So, sumubo kami. Sabi namin, oh, sige, uh, since na documentation kami, marami kaming, uh, kumbaga magaling kami in terms of logistics and yung preparation na kami ang maglilis lahat. So, anong nangyari is ginawa namin. 
we started May uh, nine, uh, May 19. Talagang very urgent, kailangan umalis. So from from then on, uh, we are accredited from one of the, uh, some of the uh, talagang well-known hospital na accredited ng DOH for um, doing the PCR test. So, nagkaroon kami ng idea. So hanggang kami na ngayon, mm -hmm. Uh, ano, nag-facilitate uh, nag, uh, sa PCR test ng mga clients namin ng Manning and yung ibang mga Manning, we were endorsed because of the very good uh, service that we given to them. So, na ano sila kasi sobrang, ano, Sir Lloyd, sobrang uh, stressful talaga. Kasi, mm -hmm. syempre, doon na yung, ano mo, yung rest mo, no? Kami ng fiancé ko is we were the one first na talaga kaming nagpa-facilitate, talagang on the top of everything, nandoon kami. Hanggang... So, no, physical, no, physical presence, no? Yes, oo. Talagang naka-PPE kami, uh, nagsaswab kami from the manning, lahat. Naka-PPE, kompleto kami ng safety gears. Wala na yung takot, eh. Wala na talaga yung takot. Talagang inano na namin na unang-una ang gusto namin matulungan ng mga Filipino seafarers natin. Kasi for three months, alam namin na marami nang nakababa and hanggang ngayon hindi pa sila nakakaalis. Siyempre, ang marino natin ang mga seafarers, may pera lang yan pagka nandoon na sa barko. Pero for the three months na wala silang income, maaawa ka Sir Lloyd. Talagang, alam mo, kumukurot sa puso namin ng fiancé ko na ano ba, paano ba yung gagawin natin? Paano ba yung gagawin namin para makatulong kami sa kanila? Kung baga, dari na lang yung income eh, pero yung at that very moment, Sir Lloyd, talagang nakita ko kung ano ang kailangan ng mga seafarers. Hindi pero ito, kami, pero ito yeah. pinasok, pinasok na bagong venture na ito, did it require uh, some heavy capital para sa inyo? Or this is something na okay lang, pwede nyo kumbaga parang trial na hindi naman kayo masyado masasaktan because this is entirely a different uh, different business, di ba? Since you uh, Actually, started. we, ano, we, me and my fiancé, talagang nag-combine nag kami ng funds namin. Ah, okay. Talagang, oh, sige, i-ano natin. Kasi, hindi ka naman pa pwede mag-PCR. Kami, kami lang yata yung, <laughs> yung, yung, ano, clinic na nagpapautang talaga na, oh, sige, wow. sige na namin. Kasi sa nadras naka... na niya. <laughs> Dito, sa Manila lang, puta na sir, sa swab ka namin. <laughs> Actually sir, kasi nakakaawa yung mga seafarers, hindi mo rin pwede kasing sisihin ng manning side. Dahil unang-una, kung gusto mong umalis, may mga seafarers na sila mismo yung nagbabayad muna. Oh di ba? Requirement. Diba? Pero dumating sa point na talagang makikita mo, wala na silang pera, ni pa masaya, sir. It came to a point na nagpunta sa clinic namin na talagang tinawagan ng, ng um, uh, kanilang crewing manager at sabi, kailangan mo magpaswap. Galing siya ng, multa, uh, ng Rizal. So, pumunta talaga siya sa amin para iswap, para ma-line up siya. Ngayon, kaya pala hindi siya umaalis kasi wala na siyang pamasahe. Oh. Ano mo talagang nadurog ang puso ko? Binigyan namin ng pamasahe para makauwi. Can you imagine? Talagang, talagang, kumbaga yung crucial yung, yung role namin na kailangan mailabas namin yung resulta nila nang makaalis sila. And ngayon, ang nangyayari sa industry is meron silang third-party uh, hospitals or clinics na gumagawa nun, ano? Hindi ko gaya yeah. sa inyo kung naka-integrate, tama ba yan? Yeah. Actually kami, we're very lucky na talagang nag-trust sa amin ang mga very well-known hospitals. Actually, hindi ko naman inaano, but we are very picky in terms of um, having um, uh, uh, an agreement with those uh, uh, establishments uh, accredited by DOH. Siyempre, namimili kami. Gusto namin akurado, number one. Number two, yung talagang hindi ka nangangamba na magkakaroon ng false positive. Alam mo yun? Kasi unang-unang, isipin mo dito, kawawa yung seaman eh. Hindi siya makakaalis. Eh paano kung hindi naman pala, talagang positive yung seaman na yun? Right. Diba? So you yeah. ruin already the dream of the, ano, of the 
uh, seaman. Paano siya makakapagtrabaho? So, yung delicate, mga ganito ba? Delicate balance, ano? Pero this is something that you really had to take as a risk, di ba? Uh, because kailangan yung mapagalaw. And because you're really advocating uh, uh, yung trabaho para dito sa ating mga marino. And it's interesting to know, of course, dahil hindi po kinaka-lockdown is uh, yung shipping company totally is natikin sila. Because may mga essentials yan, di ba? May mga essentials na kailangan pa rin logistics na, na ship from one port to another. Tama po ba yun? Yeah, that's correct. Kasi, ano eh, that's, that's already ano eh, um, necessity na natin. Pagka huminto ang, ang, ang trading, ang barko, mawawalan din tayo ng supplies. So, kung if you're going to think talaga, it's vice versa. Kailangan din na gumalaw. But, hmm. For me, ah, as, a, as a Filipino, syempre, hindi rin naman kaya ng government natin to do all things, di ba? So, kailangan din na magkaroon tayo ng part natin to help one another para makabalik tayo at kahit pa paano, umandar yung ekonomiya natin, di ba? Yeah, we have to do something big or small. We have to do it. I'm going to post a short commercial, ma'am. Ha, ma'am? Very short lang ito. And then when we come back, babalikan natin yung lalaki na nagsabi sa iyo na nasa maling room ka. <laughs> Because I'm talking about uh, women empowerment and uh, your advice to women. Mamaya, ah, how they can make it in a male-dominated industry. So don't go away, ladies and gentlemen, because the big picture on TNC will be right back. Please stay on our stream. back you're still watching the big picture on tnc season 11 episode 1 okay sige so tanongin natin si ma'am balikan natin yung <laughs> nagsabi na nasa maling room siya <laughs> hindi ko alam ano pero dito sa atin talaga parang uh, ano ba I mean, bakit baka lang big deal yung kaya gawin na hindi kaya gawin na babae o ng lalaki i mean can we just focus on what we can contribute i mean kung ano man contribution mo regardless of gender i mean does it make sense Mukha naman. Yeah. Salamat, Isabella, for watching. Si Owen, syempre, hindi pa pwede hindi manood. <laughs> si uh, Ella Rodriguez, saka si Lois, uh, watching as well. Okay, ma'am, uh, Rachel uh, Bataclan Orquiza is president of WMOC. Okay, ma'am, sige. Let's talk about women empowerment and uh, your advice probably to women na nakakaranas ng ganitong uh, discrimination, so to speak, uh, that they are being uh, looked down to because of their gender? Actually, for me, no, um, ang discrimination for, for women, hindi mo na maaalis yan eh. Kasi diba, uh, in, in past life, diba, hindi naman talaga, ang babae naman talaga is talagang designated sa bahay, diba? So, nowadays, sabi nga yung mga millennial times na, na right now, women was able and give the opportunity to to share their their talents and passion now which is nung una hindi nakikita ng mga ng ng ano ng society but if you're they, going to see yeah, diba? because, they not, because they are not even allowed to go out eh, yes. so, yes. walang way. 
chance. Mm-mm. Actually, ngayon, I was very, very happy kasi every time I, I went to uh, to attend um, a certain event, talaga makikita mo majority ng, ng, ng uh, head ng mga companies, multinational companies, is babae. So, diba, ibig sabihin, there's something on it, there's something in women na talagang uh, pwede pala, na talagang we can handle a whole company, we can handle a team, diba, na nae-express namin na meron din pala kaming ganun, may ganung talent din pala ang mga babae. For me kasi, it, it, it depends on the person na uh, number one, siguro experience, experience in life, no? To make you much more stronger. At saka yung determination. Pag meron ka nun eh, determination, experience, di ba? Sabi nga, exper- uh, uh, experience is the best teacher. So from there, no, hindi naman tayo lahat perfecto. As a woman, as a single mom, I was able to experience a lot of things. But... Contrary to that, it made me um, made me as a better person, as a better leader mm-hmm. for my for my for my team for for other people, ano? Kasi nakikita ko kung ay dito pala okay pala to. Um, and I also would like to ano address then yung mga women in in the industry na talagang I really uh, look up to them. I learn a lot of uh, things, di ba? So from there talagang na, na, na motivate ka at the same time, pag nakikita mo na nakakagawa ka ng maganda para sa kapwa mo, that's one good thing na talagang hindi mo matatawaran. For me, it's not, it's not about the gender. It's, not, it's about the things that you can do to your fellow Filipino and for to fellow um, uh, people na sa tingin mo na mapapabuti at makaka-contribute ka na maging maganda yung buhay nila. Okay. So para sa akin yun yung ano yun yung essence of being here. Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? So See. hindi ako naniniwala na like for me ah, just to give lang uh, ano Sir Lloyd no if you will allow kasi I would like to every time I I talk to a certain group I always mention na um, it's not uh, lahat ng mga kababaihan na dumadating sa point ng kanilang buhay na nawawalan sila ng pag-asa na sila lang yung ano iniiwan ng mga asawa or something like that o na, na nabubuntis sila ng mas maaga it's not the end of ano eh, of life eh. it's about how you made your life uh, much more ano kumbaga may direction so dapat lang sa ating mga kababaihan is dapat uh, maging mas matapang tayo sa buhay na hindi ka basa-basa susuko especially now alam mo maraming na depressed ang daming alam mo yun yung hindi na kinakaya yung sitwasyon but unang-una dapat talaga maging malakas tayo sa sa pagdadasal pangalawa labanan natin yung mga nararamdaman natin and if we have this family kasi i treat my 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 staff we treat our our staff in the company as a family so pag nakikita ko sila and alam ko na lahat ng mga taong to umaasa sa amin kailangan naming magtrabaho para sa kanila because we are family and alam ko maraming mga kababaihan diyan na kayang-kaya mas pa yung pwedeng ibigay at pwede nilang to look after na ay looking back kaya ko rin pala yung ganun. But I have to credit din, Sir, ha, Sir Lloyd, sa mga, sa mga kalalakihan. Kasi yes, kung wala silang, yeah, kung wala rin namang kaming tinitignan na, na magandang ehemplo sa mga, la, sa mga kalalakihan, hindi rin ma, ma nurture yung, yung urge ng mga kababaihan to do something the same Doon sa mga especially sa sa ano sa career wise, 'di ba? Ang mm-hmm. career wise ang mga lalaki talagang given na 'yan uh, being ano uh, uh, successful, lahat na, 'di ba? But for us women talaga malaking impact 'yon and challenging for us. But right now, sorry to say, 
we can do that as well. Right? In, in other words, uh, men, ayusin yung trabaho niyo dahil nakatingin yung women. <laughs> Correct. Diba? <laughs> they actually do they inspire sila and then when they know how it works and how it goes oh definitely they can take over our place kanang hindi naman kailangan may war sige ma'am as a businessman na lang moving forward and this is my last question uh, for you tonight what do you think is the big picture given everything that is happening right now what is the big picture probably the thing that you can see one thing one important thing that you can see that most people don't Actually, with the situation right now, natin, ano, um, I know and I believe that there's ano, a light at the end of the tunnel. Kumbaga. Yung na-experience natin ngayon, it's not the end of the world. Uh, lahat tayo talagang dumadaan sa, sa crisis ng buhay ngayon. But for me, as a, as a mother, as a president, ng isang kumpanya, it's, I guess it would be possible lahat na iayos natin, magplano, i-execute, di ba? Andoon yung puso mo na dapat i-execute mo lahat kung ano yung naiisip mong tama. Kung baga tamang direction lang, tsaka dasal. For me, that would help us, di ba? Lahat tayo nakaka, nakaka-experience ngayon kung ano nangyayari sa buong mundo. So for me, guys, meron pa talagang ano, Lord is there and all of us, He will guide us. And alam ko na matatapos din ito. So hindi hindrance ang pagkakaroon ng pandemic para gumalaw tayo, para tumigil yung buhay natin. We have to challenge every day ourselves to, to do something better na talagang kailangan mong pagtrabahuhan. So, hmm. for me, yun yung, yun yung message eh. Yun yung message na hindi lang pandemic ang makaka-stop ng buhay ng bawat tao. Nasa sa tao yan kung paano mo siya iikot ng opportunity, katulad ng ginawa ko. Alright. Perfect. So, okay. Sige ma'am. So, uh, any website, uh, any website or social media platform you would, you would like people to follow you or your company? Actually, we have a website that www.wmocdocumentationservices.com. Uh, and then if you have um, uh, the Facebook, we have also Facebook. I think uh, it's flashes in your screen. So check it out. And also uh, um, we have the numbers of our office here. So you can contact us if you have any requirements for RT-PCR test and antigen. So we give a very, very um, um, good price. And at the same time, uh, talagang very accurate at the same time, uh, mabilis. So fast, ano, usually parang 24 hours na kami. So you can check on the screen. So you can um, send us an email, an inquiry, and someone will call you to answer your inquiries. So I hope, uh, Sir Lloyd, um, uh, we can also accept other, uh, not only for seafarers, uh, so for other companies that um, you know uh, uh, have a requirements for that, and also for all the mining agencies um, handling um, Panama Registry uh, vessel and Marshall Island. So we do also documentations for that. All right, very good. Pag may may dito sa TNC, ma, meron na kami ng isipan na maritime show. Hindi pa lang kumbabagay sa sa company mo yung sponsor no maritime show but okay. let me yeah it's something that we can explore usapan natin yan, usapan natin yan. <laughs> magandang topic yan di ba as, as in yeah. isang show dito sa TNC sige ma maraming salamat ang dami nagko-comment babalik ka ng social media team namin yan pagkatapos ng stream natin in the meantime maraming salamat po talaga sa time niyo and for inspiring us especially women well kasama yung lalaki na inspire kami <laughs> maraming salamat sa time po niyo Thank you so much for having us and um, thank you for all the um, the viewers. Thank you for uh, stay tuned and also shout out lang sa mga um, uh, WMOC group of company staff and to all our clients. Thank you for trusting us 
since the very start, my family, my fiance, thank you and God bless us all. Stay safe, everyone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Rachel Bataclan or Key is the president of WMOC Group of Companies. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga tumutok at nanood ngayong gabi ng The Big Picture. This is our Season 11 World Opening. Maraming maraming salamat. Of course, this is still presented to you by Puzzle Box BPO Inc. Also sponsored by Aliaga Rice Supply, Mr. Rice, Well Life. Maraming salamat din Unisol sa inyong pagsuporta. Siyempre, nandito rin The Big Picture at nandito rin, ah, sorry, The Big Picture, nandito rin ang Novea P-A-T-S-B-A-L-P. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng tumutok. I'm going to see you again tomorrow for another inspirational episode of The Big Picture. This is your host, Lloyd Luna, and I'm really, really happy to see you again. I'm back on the stream. Don't go away because the Millennial Voice is up next at 8.30 p.m. Have a good night.